Sam, go ahead when you're ready. So we are the Oxford group. And for our project, we decided to make an AI that could like children's stories based on a prompt. So uh, we added like voice recognition. So you speak the prompt so that, you know, children could use it. And it's able to generate a brand new interesting story uh, every night. So basically to use this, you just have to think of your prompt and you enter it into our model by speaking. We have a voice recognition software that will convert it into text and then you generate and you just wait for it to write your story. So I'm gonna do a quick demo. Um, so this is our box. So I'm going to start with, um, there once was a dragon. So here's our example, and I'm going to generate, and it does take a little while because it's writing a short story. And once it pops up, it'll come into this bottom box under your story, and we'll read a story. So here it is. Um, moving forward, we would definitely spend more time training just to um, clean up some grammar and stuff like that. but. This is our beginning to a story. Um, does anyone else have any suggestions for prompts that I can give this model? A spider is walking in the rain. A spider is walking in the rain. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. So. We'll just wait and hopefully it'll generate at the bottom. It's going to take time. It does. Even 40, 40, 30, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. It's not too bad. So here's our short story. All right. So now we're going to tell you a little bit more about our project. Um, so these are all the people who contributed to the project. Uh, we have all of the people in our group and some instructors. All right, so this page of our website basically explains how our project works, how our model works. So what we really did was we clean, we found some data, basically simple stories, and then we cleaned all of the data. And then using the clean data, we trained our model, a GPT-NEO model, and we implemented the speech recognition so that um, the reader could say their prompt to the website. So it'd be easier for children to you know, give a prompt. And then we created this website using NicePage and Flask to implement Python into HTML. So we needed uh, data, obviously, to train our model. And so these are all the different uh, data, like databases that we used. Most notably, the, uh, the first one was the Monkey Pen Store, and the last one, which is uh, Story Line Online, the YouTube channel. So that is our project. We hope you enjoyed, and let us know if you have any questions. Awesome. You go to uh, Target and look at the storybooks for children. I'm sure Michael knows exactly where I'm going with this. They're like they're like thirty dollars for like a ten page book. You know what I'm talking about? I wonder if someone can make something like you can write story automatically. You can also generate images that matching the captions. You know, uh, and then all you have to do is just like you know have the AI just continue to generate stuff. And the human just need to stare and just say which one's good. And you probably can produce a lot of these stories and you put that online, right? No physical stuff, just all online. I bet, I bet like people would be like, you know, like $5 a month, they would buy it, you know? Yeah, soon there's going to be an AI that also generates the prompts and then every single story is going to be just generated by AI. <laughs> even the pictures, even the pictures, right? Even, even the, the pictures. pictures. Yeah, because right now you can go from like, Right now, you can go from like picture to caption. Actually, there's a group of mine like working on that right now. 
So basically you take a picture, you get all the features, and then you go from a sequence to sequence model, you go to the caption, right? So basically you go from picture to, to, to caption, but you can also go the other way around, which is use this AI to generate these children's stories, right? And then have these stories and split them. And then for each split, you basically generate a picture out of it, right? That's totally doable, guys. Totally doable. And then, you know, you don't need writers anymore. You can just write. I mean, you do need writers, but you need lousy writers, right? You just need like people to read it and say, this is good. This is bad. This is good. This is bad. And then you put this website up, man, this is, this is going to be cool. In the future, the only jobs are going to be software engineers and data analysts. Uh, Everything else will be made with AI. Not that fast. Not that fast. You know, if you're down that far, I mean, won't the coders be replaced too? Yeah, exactly. Right. So, oh yeah. No. Humans will be extinct soon. Uh, no, maybe we just don't have to work and uh, eat burgers and drink um, soda. Um, Let's just not think about it till we're there. Come on. Okay. Uh, it's important to talk about. I have a bunker downstairs, actually. <laughs>